Right here in town, the Durham Public Library is the oldest continuously operated public library in New England and is considered by many to be a centerpiece of the town. Built in 1733, it has offered the town a place to meet for town meetings, people a place to cool down from those hot summer days, and an outlet for learning. But it's not just about books and rented videos anymore. Many kids from Strong School or Cogginshog may head there after school to work on homework or hang out using the library's many lounge areas. Recently, the library remodeled its computer area and now has 12 public-use computers all outfitted with high-speed internet. The library also has free public Wi-Fi for its patrons. During the summer months, the library has a number of programs tuned to a variety of groups, including magic shows, tai chi for seniors, origami for kids, and even a visit from Rocky, the mascot of local minor league baseball team, the New Britain Rockcats. Gina Monti, a senior at Southern Connecticut State University majoring in library sciences and a 2008 graduate of Falconshaw, has done a beginner's belly dancing program for the past two summers. Gina, a member of SCSU's Mars Belly Dance Division and a former intern for the Durham Public Library, wanted to bring her craft to the public. The belly dancing program I have done last year actually, and uh, it was actually a requirement through uh, the internship criteria. Put together newspaper ads, uh, put in the sign up sheet, all the other paperwork and things like that just to get used to knowing what it's like to run the programs and uh, go back to my contacts. That was actually uh, just an um, introduction and beginner class so it was for about two hours, so I did get a lot of people. She said that this program was such a huge hit, she decided to do it again this year, as well as bring some of the suggestions from her previous students to the library staff, such as Zumba. It's great to know that we could always have uh, suggestions through the patrons and the population, uh, which was sometimes a branches out from Durham to Middletown. Um, sometimes even Cromwell, depending on how often that they come visit here. Also over the summer, the library runs the state-sponsored summer reading program. Each year, there's a different theme. Um, last year was Make Waves, which was more about um, being conscious about the environment, mostly with um, water themes. And this year is the One World and uh, Many Stories, the International. So that has been going on for a number of years, I would say. The summer reading program gives each participant a list of books, all available at the library. Each week, there is a raffle for each age group, children, young adults, and adults. The raffle winner is awarded a prize from a local business, though the literary prize is much more rewarding for some people. So it is a great way to have people that uh, read, and the programs here also give a great um, exposure to the library itself. The program runs every summer from the end of the school year to the middle of August.